Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic. You probably know that by now and if not, it's nice to meet you. Uh, we have an interesting war. Like this is a, this feels like an uphill battle. Um, we have pyramids uh, finishing next turn, which can boost this, give us a builder. Give me another charge here. Could culture bomb all this good stuff, which I think we'll wait for. Trying to get Eurekas, trying to keep this war going. I think I can finish this campus and then keep the war going. I'll chop this, get that farm. That'll give me the farm I need. I guess we're just exploring here. This is scary. How do we how do we best deal with this crossbow? I think we just try to back away and like jabate it out and try to kill it with our own bows. Maybe. Maybe. Make sure your troops are all touching each other. Yeah, I know. That's a that's a big thing that I haven't been managing particularly well in this one. I think you go here. I think you go here. Because now, now it's just this one that's in danger. So I'll take the hill as defense, I suppose. I might lose that one. <laughs> hey, I'm luck. Do I have the 10 healing card in? Uh, I don't at the moment. I'm looking at a policy switch next turn. Kill it with bows. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think at all, at, not at all costs, but in all likelihood, I would like to continue this war. My hope is that when we go into the next era, uh, he's going to have a Dark Age, and this should be much easier to hold. This is obviously era score that we're going to grab here. Yep. Rip my, uh, From the height of rip my archer. Pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. That's a good one, though. We happy about this. All right, so there's our policy switch. There's our completion of drama and poetry. We can get theater squares now. Uh, I'm looking at feudalism. We have, I believe that I'm about to get my, we have one, two, three. Oh, no, these aren't mine anymore. Wait, can I make them mine? Oh, yes, I will make them mine. Okay, now they're mine. We have three farms. I have four farms. This is only five. I wanted it to be six. So I suppose I could do this still. Grab all the tiles and then just make a farm there. Or down here somewhere? Can't really. Yeah, not really. Um, okay, so I want to keep making units, which means this policy needs to stay in. We can drop a uh, diplomatic league for this. Urban planning seems fine. Great to catch a stream, TGM. Hope you're well. Thank you so much, Zabin Grub. Welcome back for three months. Thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate you. Hope you're well as well. Yeah, the healing seems interesting here. Um, I, th I think that could be quite good for us. We're going to lose some gold per turn on our uh, cr potential crossbow upgrades here, but we'll just take our time a little bit. I think we'll be okay. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, Mangler, thank you so much for the host. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty, so pyramid's done here. We could certainly use a granary. I would like to be building troops, though. I think that is the best. Finish this, yeah. Okay. Just put a little culture there for now. Seems okay. Now, no idea if we're going to be able to hold this city. We do have Amani floating around for that reason, but minus 24 loyalty is pretty brutal. And I don't think I can take cities quick enough to... <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! Where was the crossbow that destroyed my archer? Oh, it moved out. Which was my pr pretty much the plan I thought we had to go with if we want to kill this thing. Just going to just going to hold up here for a second. Stupid stupid bow. How would I explain this game to someone who's skeptical about it? Um, I would call it a uh, like a digital board game that combines Settlers of a Catan, Risk, and like the politics of Monopoly. <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a historical turn-based 4x. Uh, if you enjoy turn-based strategy, if you enjoy um, if you enjoy tactical combat. Today is the best day ever. I resub. I get to watch TGM and I am playing Civ all day. Yo, Seb Quinn, thank you so much. Uh, and then, I, of course, I'm, I'm still pronouncing your name wrong. So let me, I wrote it down. Hold on. I think so. No, I didn't. Seb Quinn. Okay, you're on there. <laughs> Do I play board games? I love board games, yeah. <laughs> nice, Carl. Historical, but now with vampires. I mean, that's fair. I, I'm still, I'm saying it right. All right. I, I, I looked at my spreadsheet of hard names, and it's not on there. So we good. We good. Silverhawk, thank you so much for the three months as well. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Already you so much. Been three months. Can't thank you enough for your content. I can't Keep thank you enough for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much, Silverhawk. Welcome back for three months. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe this to people that would maybe be on the fence about it. I would just try to get them off that fence. What about upgrading the two archers before losing that city? I don't have the tech, so I don't know that I'll be able to get there in time. This is going to be a problem. Now, if this moves back, we're very, very sad. So I, I, I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that crossbow. Crossbows could just absolutely put up a stop sign in your game, which is a bit sad. Yeah, he moved. In democracy. Do not have the option of killing this now. So let's go up here. And we'll punish that crossbow and just not let it do anything productive for him. We got walls now too, though. I think crossbows are too big of a jump in power from archers. I mean, it it, it, it certainly feels bad on deity. Um, it's, a, it's just a timing thing, though. I don't think it's bad. I 
I, I, there should be hurdles in the game that you need to jump through, right? So seven turns that we can upgrade to some crossbows. I think that'll be pretty important. So we'll keep saving our money for that. Still haven't joined a society because I can't get a uh, vampire invite. And I want to create a couple more cross uh, archers or potential crossbows. I've lost two already. Um, and so I, I don't want to keep losing them or I, I want to have enough to, to make up for that fact. So a couple more of those while we, while we continue to uh, attack crossbows. This is decent. It'll be plus four. No, it's plus four now. It'll be plus. Yeah, it'll be plus four. Eventually the two mines. I wouldn't mind harvesting here. Theoretically harvest here, but we're going to lose this city again. Ah! This game feels awful. I could reinforce with a couple units up here, too. There's really no reason not to do that. Other than maintenance, unit maintenance. Alrighty. Not anything we wanted there. So rip our city yet again. Try to move away from that. I want to take this city. I think this is going to time, time out somewhat reasonably with the... Uh, hopefully he's going to get like a dark, a dark age. I guess I could have done that first. Oops. I'm mismanaging our, our combat bonuses quite a bit here, which is not great. Okay. No culture bomb here, but we make our campus better. Turns it into, into a plus three, which is decent. Yeah, it does. It does. Oedipusaurus. So now with this city, it has a water mill. It should, it should, with a couple more farms here, grow like huge. It could still be worthy, I guess. But it's not something I'm really targeting. Why? What's going on? Where was that? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, where's the culture coming from? Duh, the wonder. The wonder that's literally right there. Okay. Well... Oh. <laughs> no, stop it. Uh, 
Reinforcements coming. Hey, Hope, how's it going? Okay. It's going badly? Why is it going so badly? What can I do for you? How can I how can I make your day a little bit better, Hope? Yeah, upgrading troops is, is a big part of it, awesome sauce, as far as getting era score and stuff. Have I established some temporary ranking for G Gaul and Byzantium? No, not yet. Not yet. I should do that though. Uh on, on, on a preliminary look, Gaul was gonna be like probably the most powerful Civ I've ever rated. Uh, but we shall see. Power keeps going out in the middle of your online classes. Oh no, that is awful. That sucks. We're happy you're here. I hope your power situation gets better. I, I can empathize with all sorts of uh, issues to that uh, to that end. We're in agreement on Gaul. Yeah, I, I think everybody agrees that they are quite powerful. <laughs> yeah, they're they're ridiculously good. <laughs> no, I still don't want to do peace. I want your cities. So I can't go here. We need to go through the fountain to get our water. There's that stinking crossbow again. Let's go ahead and pillage, get more money. Crossbow's next turn. Man, some mobility from horses could be quite good for us. I'm not running the policy at the moment, though, so I'm going to get another Gassette. All right, so what are you working? Go here, culture bomb, then give them a farm. Then they'll be able to grow some, which would be good. <laughs> what's, your, what, what's your question, Hope? <laughs> How do you make it through this semester? Um, probably perspective. I mean, a semester can only, oh, it's supposed to be fi exactly five words. Hold on. How do I get, how do you get through this semester in five words? Um, I don't, ooh, five words. I'm struggling with this one. I'm usually pretty decent at this. Uh, five words of how to get through this semester. One day at a time. That's a good one. I was gonna make some joke. I'm gonna. I was gonna say start drinking. Or continue drinking. I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> and if you're not doing either of those things, I cannot help you. This is a better tile. <laughs> I 
Realistically, though, I, I would say like it's only a semester, right? Like it's only a few months of your life. Like the older I get, the the more time I kind of realize I have, which is sort of a weird thing. But it's like I I'm only you know like I don't know like you always have time to 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 do the next thing. So some with with something that's like so valuable, which is getting an education, right? Like like just get through it, power through it. it, it even if you're miserable, even if you're sad, whatever. Like I would just power through it, get to the end. Um, and then, and then you, you know, then you can, no one can really take that away from you. Can you stop it? Stop killing my stuff. How did it move onto this hill and shoot on the same turn? Crumble. Really? Really? Does he have a general? He might have a general. He does have a general. There you go. There you go. That's a logical answer. A reasonable one at that. Let's go find Niter. See if we can continue warring or not. Rock, hey! Twenty three and me. Wait, are we related? <laughs> My brother's name is Mike. That mm. can't be a coincidence. Hmm. Yeah. Certainly, I'm. I should be like all mics are related. I'm, I, and also I should be the only mic. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest there. Mythrock, thank you so much. Thank you for the twenty three months, my friend. Welcome on back to the shop. So good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. Run away. All right. Hopefully we don't continue to lose stinking units here. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Mercenaries next turn, too, so we can upgrade now. Get some archers or get some crossbows. I think that'll be huge. Stop the bleeding. Kill their, kill, kill their archers, etc. Yeah, that's a good idea, Stale. I mean, we added in... This is just miserable. We added in... Um, we added in... Civs. So there's a small map with eight civs and three extra city-states. And it still feels like there's a good bit of room. I recently watched 28 Days Later as a part of, uh, you know, Halloween festivities. 28 Days and 28 Weeks are great movies. I could raise both of these. Does it still hold up? I think it does. I, I still liked it. But I liked it the first time, so I guess I'm part of the target demo. All right, so let's put in this, and let's put in uh, this, just to get some horses up to the front line. This is exactly what you don't want to be doing on Deity, which is just sitting there bleeding units to crossbows. Where's my face? My uh, webcam broke, so it'll be back soon. I 
I think normally I'd be pretty happy building some walls here. But I think the crossbow is going to be more valuable. We saw a lot of barbarians, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need the firepower, I think. Seven turns there. Next turn is the era, so that's good. We might have a shot at holding stuff. Such a funky map. Rip. Whatever. Yes, this is good. We shall make that trade. B and B, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome on back. Really good to have you here. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate the ongoing support. Thanks for the half a year. Oh boy, Johnny doesn't like us. Yes, thank you. All right, so we stay in a golden age here, um, which is good. Let's check on the rest of the world. Uh, wow, he stayed in a golden age? What? How? I was beating you up the whole time. That's ridiculous. Don't really care if I lose this, I don't think. I need to kill that crossbow. And then these guys are just gonna have to help out. There you go, work that farm. So I need eh, we'll keep going. I was thinking about a policy switch there, but all right, let's start moving towards this. I was going to make that, but this will do. Yeah, because I'm going to keep this going. We need the gold upgrades. We're going to get a couple horses. I'm going to need conscription here soon. Again. Let's re-up our friendship, although not with him. With Rome, we can be friends. Combat strength to melee units. Yes, please. Please. That would be good. Uh, and then the city center usually wins here. So we'll go city center and melee units and just kind of prey on this one. Because that would make our unit stronger. Heck yeah. Very nice. We won both of those. Could be a Diplo game after all. Probably not, though. Probably not, though. Wow, I didn't even lose the unit. Hot diggity. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thanks, Mr. T. <laughs> uh, a couple more horses seem reasonable, I think. Like, just getting a little bit of pre extra pressure there. It's mobile. They'll get there quicker. I think, it, I think it'll be good. So now what do I want here? Just more farms. Man, I feel like barbarians on this Highlands map are going to be incredibly challenging unless you start packing the games with more more and more sieves. Because even, even with a packed map, this feels like I've got a decent amount of space. How did he stay in a golden? No. Please don't. Gulp. So Spain is uh is is coming to war with us. It means the end of this uh <laughs> He had a huge army too, does he still? Eh, it's not huge. Crossbow. All right, so now I need some maintenance reduction. really use a couple more settlers. It's only turn 85. Feels like it's further than that. Eight turn oracle is obviously tempting, but I'm like, who? somebody's got to be building this already, right? No? Not so much, huh? So I guess we just want to grow. I can see getting a couple builders, putting that policy in there. I think more more military is more better, right? Yeah, the, uh, me too, Vlad. Me too. Although they, 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 you can run into situations where they're not quite enough on their own, um, which is, I think, where we're at right now. Just try, trying to look for Niter now. Get into a Renaissance War. Certainly not too late for that. Hey, Tim. How's it going? Hey, thanks, Quiz. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. So now we've got a couple units. The crossbows, I think, are going to help a lot. ماذا فعلتم ليأخذ الله منكم تلك المكافأة؟ عودوا إلى طريق الصواب. <laughs> that poor scout was not gonna live. A one-time deal of eight. No. I'm doing pretty well, Tim. This this week my allergies seem to be under control, uh, which is huge for me. So yeah, that's that's the biggest part of it. My my allergies have been decent this week. Weather here is just so unpredictable. It's crazy. So we almost have full loyalty here. I see by seven point three. Nice. Just 
Look at the borders. I love it so much. I had put this up a while ago. That's sad. That's why you left Colorado. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, wet, the weather. I mean, it's nice, but it, if if I'm allergic to like the, you know, the tree outside my uh, <laughs> apartment, it's real again. Not Colorado's fault. Just my fault for having horrible allergies. That we gotta drop. This I think we dropped too. I think we need conscription now. And then we bring back in our healing to try to finish this off. We could also temporarily get a few builders out of our um, out of our faith here. We could even get a settler out of it. My fault for wanting to breathe. I mean, that's factually correct, yes. Factually correct. So this city does not mind losing a population. So I'm going to grab one settler here and grow back up again. We get a great person. We get our engineer. Okay, so we could look at a um, a wonder. Could grab Oracle. So Mohenjo and Yerevan. Where's Mohenjo? Up here, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're not really a problem. Hold on to the rest. <laughs> Buy an axe and declare a formal war on the tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Go away. Go away. You annoy me. All right, so where do we want this city? Talked about squeezing one in over here. It'd be okay. We could we could still think about Petra. It's going to be a long time before we get to Mansa Musa. Uh, so we could certainly come look at this Petra. It's it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, what else could we want? Could just settle this. It's not great. Not the worst, though. Closer over here for loyalty. Where would that be, then? Just here? But then, do I even hold it? Um... Get an aqueduct city up here. Like the tiles are quite good. Doesn't help with the loyalty thing. I think I'm gonna go over here and look at the Petra. I 
think we'll just open up our attack there. Wow, the Petra potential of this map. Yay! Oh my god, we're vampires! Oh, it finally happened. Oh, it finally happened. And I have my two promotions. Let's do it. It's a little bit late to get your vampire going. But I think I want it. Now we can get our castles. So where do I want my castles? It's a, it's a pretty spicy one, Paisley. No doubt about that. I could castle this. Here. So I'd get science, faith, food, production, faith, food, production, faith. I'd have to try to improve these. I think that makes for a pretty good castle. Where else? I mean, frankly, just surround it, like getting, getting, like honestly here and just surround it with mines. Like what's wrong about, what's, what's wrong with that? I, I, I don't care about the faith. I was thinking the four science is decent. Like what if I move, remove this, chop all this, and then just have all of the food and production and culture into the cap? I think I like that a lot. I could do a similar thing here and grab in uh, horses and just boom, boom, vampire castles. And that's like good enough, right? I think that's good enough. Okay, so we're gonna need a builder or two. I don't have feudalism running. Would be better somewhere other than the cap. Why though? Like long term, am I sad I'm not working two tiles? I feel like my cap has infinite workable tiles. Not literally, of course, but effectively. I need to I need to run too many policy cards. I think gold would be nice too. It's the most important yield. I think the most important yield for our cap here is uh is food to some degree. Just have our cap grow nice and tall. Ah, got away. Because I don't want these guys to go too far. Uh, all right, give me, give me, give me bad builders. I want to I remember that um, if we make our castle and then improve the surrounding tiles, we have to remake it before we get those tiles in here. So I should just keep my vampires around, get these castles down, and then bring them out. The yields all go to the cap for the vampire castles. So I 
should keep you. Chop this. Give me more builders. I have not. I just got my vampires. We haven't built our, uh, our, our castle quite yet here. <laughs> BFD. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Why does Monza still love me? Stop loving me. Really? All that glisters is Okay. All right, now I'll get my walls here. What is this levied nonsense? What are you doing? From Zanzibar? I want that faith. I need another builder here. Oh, you can remove this. All right, on our way to Merchant Republic, not too bad giving our sort of poor economy. We're in we're in sort of a irrelevant like an irrel yourself type of a war, which feels quite bad. So I want all of these. So I should settle in place if I want maximum Petra here. I could give up two Petra Hills and just move over and gain like a bunch of regular hills. But no. Don't know where that's going yet. Is it worth putting on the castles for a few turns? It might be. Yeah, it might be. I've only played with the castles like one time. Yeah, we do have the, yeah, that's true. We have the uh, engineer for a Petra rush, potentially. Means I need to go get the tech. Vampires don't have the fountain boost yet. They will though. I'm worried about the, the castles first. That's done. We have this. I think I need that. And then maybe this. Solves our money woes. And whoa, this video is going on too long. Let's go ahead and put a cut in it for now. If you've been watching over on the YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you in the next one where we might continue to bang our head against uh, the Khmer here. 
a, a, a bit of a brutal one. We'll see you then. So long.